Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom named Jing Li, there was a prince. His name was Shan Wu. Seeing the misery of the world, Shan Wu decided to leave his kingdom behind. in order to cultivate the self, to cultivate the holy Tao at the remote mountains of Wudang. And find immortality. His mother, neither understanding nor accepting his decision, followed him with an army of 200 soldiers in order to bring her beloved son back home. You cannot go, son. We have guests for tea and you didn't tidy up your room. Even the two strongest of his mother's generals were easily blown away by the power of Shun Wu. He underlined his determination by thrusting his sword and in doing so, cutting a huge valley into the land. No, mother. No. I have to go. Tell the generals to tidy up my room. Overcoming his first hurdle, Shan Wu continued his journey to the Wudang Mountains, retreating himself for meditation in the ancient Taiza Cave.
patience. Control. Focus. And will power. <laughs> will power. Will power. Overcoming many of his monkeys through a long period of meditation. Shen Wu still was unable to reach higher levels of immortality even after 40 years of inner work. Disappointed, Shen Wu left his cave, willing to give up. When he met a mysterious old woman grinding a big old piece of metal, he asked her, Old woman, what are you doing there? I'm grinding a needle out of this iron in order to sew a dress for my daughter's wedding. Is this even possible? Let me show you. Like a lightning, it hit him. Suddenly he understood that his own determination prevented his cultivation. Do I need to let go? Do I need to try less? Do I need to observe more? 
Ja, und dann, darum might happen naturally. With his new insight, he returned back to his cave, continuing his cultivation. When suddenly, Do you saw my blue jacket somewhere here on? I think I missed it. Not such a handsome man as dreams. Horrible place. Not willing to allow any disturbance to his training, he rejected the pretty girl. It's not how a man treats a woman. I cannot believe this is embarrassment. The woman, devastated by his rejection, jumped down the cliff. Not knowing that the woman was actually an immortal sent from heaven in order to test him, Shen Wu was shocked about what had happened. Oh no, no, what have I done? Leaving his ego behind, he jumped off the cliff to rescue the woman. In this moment, the five dragons carried him up into the heavens. Riding the five dragons, Shen Wu became an immortal, the god of the northern heaven. From this day on, he started to protect all beings under the northern sky in his hidden ways.